Okay, hi everyone, this is Vusi. Uh, I'm back again with another video. So in this video, we are continuing with vectors. And now we'll just be looking at how to add vectors that are in the same line. By the same line, what you mean by that is that they, they, they are collinear. That's another word that is actually being used. So these are vectors that actually are in the same line. So you find that they say these are vectors that are collinear. All right, so let me make an example. So if I have a Cartesian plane, that's my Cartesian plane. Um, so what do I mean? Now, these vectors can be in the same direction or even opposite direction. It's fine. They're in the same line. So I can have a situation like this, whereby this is one vector and this is another vector. I can call this vector A. I can call this vector B. They're in the same line. So they are collinear. Another example that I can have is I can have maybe vector C like this. And I can have vector D maybe going in an opposite direction. It doesn't matter. They don't have to, to, to be facing the same direction. But these two vectors are acting along the same line. And it, the line doesn't have to be on the X and the Y. It can be in any angle. For instance, I can have vector A like this. And let me just have another vector uh, B. Okay. So, okay, let me just call this one E, since I'm continuing from that, and this is vector F. So, these vectors are acting along the, the same line, right? So, these vectors are collinear. Now, it's, it's a little bit easier to add these vectors uh, when they are like this. Uh, we can always find out what's happening with them. So, I'll just break it down into those examples. And let's just say I have a vector and I have vector A. Let me call this is vector A and vector A is in the X direction. And let me say vector A is 20. Watch. Uh, let's use 20 meters. And then I have vector B and vector B is also um, okay. This line is not good. So try and make it along the same line let's say this is vector b and uh, it's not a vector so this is vector b uh, i don't want to put the vector here because i just want to give you a magnitude let's say this is 15 meters now the question is can i find a vector c such that i can add these two vectors or how can i add these two vectors so i'm going to have vector a and i'm going to have vector B. So I'm adding these two vectors. So if you look at this, since they are in the same direction, it's very easy. I mean, if you look at vector A, vector A is going to be 20 meters, but it's in the x direction. In actual fact, I don't even need to include the meters. I can include them when I'm done, right? So I can say it's 20 in the x direction. That's vector A. Plus, this plus sign is this plus sign. So I'm writing this plus sign. Now this is vector A. And now I'm adding vector B. What is vector B? It's 15 meters. It's also facing in the positive x direction. Right? So the sum of these vectors, which is C. So when I'm adding these vectors, I get that this is going to be 35 in the x direction. Which means that when I add vector A and, and add vector B, I get a certain vector since they are not joined together. In fact, let me just join them together so that you can see, right? So the sum is going to be vector A, try, try this one. It's going to be vector A, which is a little bit longer. That's vector A. And then I'm going to add vector B on A. So I'm adding. So when you are adding, you are joining, you start with the first vector. So the first vector here is A. So you start drawing the first vector. Then you draw its head. Now from the head of the first vector, you then join the second vector. That's how you add vectors. Right? And then this is going to be vector B. So you can see from this one that this vector C, which is the sum of this vector, it's actually a vector. It's also in the x direction. But then it's a sum of these two vectors. So this is vector C. So this is how it is. If you want, you could draw vector C here. There's vector C. It's just, okay, I'm trying to keep the line. And there's vector C. So it's a vector 
is this 35 uh, meters it's supposed to be 35 meters in the x direction sorry about that okay so this is how you can add collinear vectors now it, this is the same even if these vectors are in the y direction you do need the same now the question is what happens if they are in opposite direction right so as long as they are in the same direction, you can do it easily like that. You just add the two, two of them and then the magnitude becomes bigger. So what happens if they are in the opposite direction? So what I have is I have vector A. Let me say vector A is facing that way. And let's use the same example, 20 meters. But now vector B is no longer facing that way. Vector B is now facing that way and that's vector B. And that's 15 meters. Now the question is, what happens when I add the two? Now this is where you need to pay a little bit of attention because sometimes students get confused. Well, there's an easy way, but then there's a reason why I prefer to do it like that, like this. And the reason why I prefer to do it like this, it makes it easier for you to understand once you get to things like acceleration and, 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 and momentum, changing momentum. All right. So let's let's look at this. So I want the vector C now such that the vector C is still A plus B. So I'm still adding these two vectors. All right. So what is vector A? Vector A is going to be 20 in the x direction. There's the plus, which is this plus. Now what is vector B? Now vector B is 15, but it's not in the positive direction. It's in the negative direction. All right, so this becomes 20 minus 15. You can group everything, take x out, and then you're left with x. Right, another way that you could have done this, you could say this is 20x minus 15x as well. So I'm teaching you things from a fundamental. So then the, then the sum of these two vectors is going to be 5 meters. In the x direction so it's positive so it comes out in the positive x direction now let's draw this and see how it looks like when you draw it all right so this is how it looks like when you draw it i'm going to draw vector a the first vector is vector a there's vector a okay there's vector a now then the second vector is vector b so it must be drawn from the head of the first vector and then you draw it in the direction that it's facing. So vector B is like this. And then there's the, the second, second vector. So the red one is going to be vector B. And the green one is going to be vector A. Now look at the difference. If I highlight it in blue, this line here, from here to here, this line here, from here to here, that is actually the, the difference of the vector. So if I was to draw it with the blue color, this line here is going to be the resultant vector, which is this vector C. And that's why you can see that vector C is very small because you have vector A, which is 20, you minus 15, you are only left with this part, which is just five. So that's what it means when you are adding vectors that are in the opposite direction. Now, this is the same even if it's in the Y direction. And this is the same even if, let me say I had the same vectors in this direction of course this time around i won't really use um, x i can use x and y uh and as a matter of fact let me introduce you to that concept as well it's fine so you are used to me drawing the cartesian plane like this but let me say i have vector a and vector a is facing this way and let's give it now 25 meters and then i have vector b and vector b is facing that way let's give vector b uh, 12 meters all right now would agree with me that okay fine i can draw a line here right a collinear line so it's going to be collinear like this now in this one if you want to use if you want to add it using this x and the y you can choose your cartesian plane to look like this so you do this for instance when you when you solve forces you have something on an inclined plane we always tell you guys to do this and then you choose this as x, you choose that as y, and there's a reason why I'll show you everything once we get there as to reason why you want to do it like that. So I'll show you without doing that, 
so that you can see what are the challenges, why doesn't why why that doesn't work out very well, and then why you can do it like this. So you could call this x if you want. So this becomes the same thing if I want the vector c such that it is a plus b, right? So if you want, you could just say, well, c is just going to be 25x and then plus 12 minus x, right? So you could, according to the reference frame that you use. Now you can only do this if it's in the same line. If they're not in the same line, don't do this. Don't, don't change the Cartesian plane, right? You can only do this if they are acting on the same, along the same line, and then you can do that, right? Now, when you do it like that, and then it just becomes 25 uh, x minus 12 x hat. And then this becomes, this is the hat actually. I, I, I said hat wrongly in another video. All right, so now that minus 25, this becomes 15, and then this becomes 30 meters in the x direction. So what that means is that this vector, I'm going to have a vector 25, I'm going to have a vector a, the vector a is 25, and then afterwards I'm going to subtract the vector b, but b is not, doesn't go all the way, that's vector b, right? And then vector a is this red one. So you can see I still have some red part here. So if I, if I color that blue, that's what is left. And that is what is vector C and vector C is becomes 13. So that's how you can draw it, right? You always draw them from head to tail. From tail to head and then head to tail the second one. So you always join the second vector, the third vector, the fourth vector from the head of the last vector. So you look at an equation, that's the one that's going to tell you. Draw which one first, followed by which one, followed by which one. All right. So I think this is how you just add vectors when vectors are collinear, meaning that they are in the same line. All right, so for this video, I think this is enough. And then I'll see you guys in the next video where I'll show you how to add them when they are not in the same line.